Well, howdy folks. Welcome back to my channel. This is the pet rock. And if you're thinking that it doesn't look anything like a rock, you are correct. This is actually a Eurorack uh, modular synthesis module. So this was released at Knobcon in 2023, and I've been to several Knobcons, but I did not attend in 2023. I did see the coverage, and this was created by a man named Jonas Senzel. It actually comes with a really awesome manual here. This is actually like a heavy-duty manual here that's kind of bound and everything, and it talks all about it and sort of the theory and what this means. And on the back, you can see it is sponsored by the National and International Society of Super Temporal Synthesis. If you're going, what the heck is that? Well, let me explain to you what this thing does. So the Pet Rock is a rhythm generator that produces new rhythms every day. And it does that based on three things. The mood of the module, the day of the week, and the phase of the moon. So taking those three things together, it's not going to create the same pattern very often at all. You know, if ever, maybe it'll take years before it creates the same pattern again. So maybe you can just kind of see here down this side, you have an indicator for the day of the week. Down the other side, you have an indicator for the phase of the moon. And then up here at the top, you have an indicator for the mood. Now, what does the mood of the module mean? Well, think of it as a very slow moving LFO that takes about four months to complete a cycle. So running very, very slow. Then that mood combined with the day of the week and the phase of the moon is how you get all of your entropy. Really a neat idea, but let's check it out. Let's see what it sounds like. Okay, so here we go. The pet rock is in the rack and you can see I'm working in tight quarters here because I'm in the temporary studio. So I've got a second camera here focused on the pet rock and the main camera focused on the entire rack. Now what you can maybe see here is since this thing generates rhythms, I've got the 2HP bell here and the 2HP pluck right here. They're both going to the mixer and then out to the audio interface. So for starters here, the first thing we have to do is we have to patch clocks in. So I'm going to use my clock module here. I'm going to patch this one into the top rhythm, this one into the bottom rhythm, and then when I start my clock, we see little lights flashing here and here. Those are indicating our rhythms. So you can see we get a little yellow light, and then every so often we'll get a blue light. The blue light indicates that the pattern is starting over. Other thing you notice, the mood is yellow. The day of the week is Sunday, and that is true as I'm recording this. I'm sure you won't see it on Sunday, but the day of the week is Sunday, and the phase of the moon is quarter, third quarter, whatever that's called, third quarter of the moon. Let's take these outputs and plug them into our modules. So rhythm A is going to go to our 2HP bell, and we should hear that coming through. And then rhythm B is going to go to our 2HP pluck. we should now hear that coming through. Now, of course, I can tweak all these parameters to make, you know, all kinds of different sounds here. And you know, all that, but just so you can hear the rhythm happening, I'll use something pretty simple. The, on the clock module, both these rhythms are set to eighth notes based on the 130 BPM. Now, needless to say, I can change that. So if I go in, let's change, which one's five? Five is rhythm A, so that's the bell. Let's change the bell to be uh, 16th notes. So we can hear that changes up the rhythm because we're feeding it a different clock. All right, let's go back to eighth notes there and let's go to the other one, the pluck, and let's change that to 16th notes. And so we, again, we hear that pattern change, but we don't have to just feed it linear clocks. I can do triplets. So now there's a triplet on the pluck. And I can do, there's a double triplet. Now they're both getting triplets. Okay, so we're definitely hearing how these rhythms play off each other and how we can kind of swing them and do different things with them. But this end result isn't all that interesting because it's just sort of droning notes in a pattern. Now, the creator said the pet rock is not supposed to be 
be your entire patch. It's just supposed to give you an idea to build a patch around. So if I take the same clock and I patch it into a sequencer here, actually let's use this cable. I patch this into a sequencer here so that I know that that's running at the same rate as the clock. Then I can start my sequencer and now I've got pitch sequences. Okay, now things just got a lot more interesting, right? So by adding some pitches to these rhythms that Pet Rock is creating, now we hear some really cool stuff. Now keep in mind, we're not limited there. So watch this. Let's take and let's patch this output into a delay. The Chrono Blob supports clocking, so let's use the same clock source to clock the delay. Let's bring the delay up now. Listen to that. And of course, we could start adding modulation to these modules, you know, and be modulating these parameters and really get something fun. But even in just tweaking them a little bit, I can get some really cool sounds. So you can kind of see, the Pet Rock doesn't do your whole patch, it just sort of gives you inspiration. And now, if I was to do this exact same patch tomorrow, it's going to be completely different. So, it's literally just an ephemeral idea. And that's the pet rock.